Half a day, everyone. Welcome to, welcome to the Guam Congress building, and we're very honored for you to be here today, of course, to honor Ms. Marilyn Vanderweide. And so we're very honored to be presenting to her today a resolution to honor her and to thank her for her contributions, of course, to Guam. And I'm joined today with uh, Senator Sabina Paris. Thank you, Senator. And uh, of course, Dr. Marilyn Salas and very uh, other members of, I understand, the Faith Presbyterian Christian Reformed Church. Thank you for being here. I also think we're joined by uh, some of Ms. Vander White's students. I, I understand three generations of students she has taught on Guam. Yay. So we're going to uh, begin. So this resolution will be recorded in the legislative archives. It will be for all future generations to see who we have honored and why. And hopefully uh, this will serve to inspire additional service to the community of Guam and for teachers and many other professions. Senator Paris. Thank you so much, Speaker. And I'm really honored to be here today as a, a, an educator too myself uh, at the uh, Simon Sanchez High School for almost a decade. So 50 years definitely pales. Uh, my, my, my nine years almost pales in comparison to yours for sure. So um, this is a resolution 320-36 LS. It's relative to recognizing Marilyn Van Wyde for her 50 years of service to the Guam Department of Education and commending her for her commitment and dedication to enriching the lives of students and youth of our island's community. Be it resolved by Imina Trentai Sais Nala has Latorin Guahan, whereas Marilyn Van Der Weide was born on April 26, 1942 in Aileen, Michigan. Her teaching career on Guam began in 1970 when she was awarded a Guam Department of Education contract to teach kindergarten at Anderson Elementary School, now known as Upi Elementary. Whereas Ms. Van Der Weide taught at Anderson Elementary School until 1977, when she began teaching kindergarten, at Maria Ujoa Elementary School, and she taught at Maria Ujoa as a kindergarten teacher until her retirement in 2004. And whereas despite her retirement, Ms. Van Der Weide's dedication to educating youth remained, so she continued teaching students in the Department of Education, um, in the Department of Education Extended Day Program, or DEED, at Maria Ujoa from 2005 to 2015. Ms. Van Der Weide also volunteered to serve as the first grade tutor for struggling students from 2006 to 2019 at Maria Yojoa. And over her decades long service in education on Guam, Ms. Van Der Weide had taught three generations of families in Northern Guam. And whereas Ms. Van Der Weide's commitment to education went beyond the Guam local community, as she traveled to other regions in Micronesia, such as Chuk, Pompei, Kosrai, Yap, and Tinian to deliver impactful educational programs. Ms. Van Der Weide was also a member of the International Reading Association, a member of the Guam Science Club, and a member of the Marianas Audubon Society. And where is... Ms. Van Der Weide enjoyed living on Guam very much, and she mostly resided in Tumon, allowing her to take sunrise and sunset walks on Tumon Bay. And in addition to these walks, Ms. Van Der Weide also participated in 5Ks, 10Ks, and marathons. No. She half says marathon. half marathons <laughs> to keep healthy. <laughs> Ms. Van Der Weide was a member of the Faith Presbyterian Christian Reformed Church, where she also served as a Sunday school teacher for many years. And during her school breaks in summer, Ms. Van Der Weide traveled the world. And on, whereas on April 26, 2022, Ms. Van Der Weide will turn 80 years old and will return to her hometown in Michigan to celebrate her life accomplishments. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Imina Trentai Sais Nalihesa Turin Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize Marilyn Vanderweide for her 50 years of service to the Guam Department of Education and commend her for her commitment and dedication to enriching the lives of the students and the youth of our island community. And be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof, and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Marilyn Van Der Weide and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero in Magahogan, Guam, Guahan. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to say a few words? 
What is she? No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to allow her to say a few words. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say because you've all heard it a lot. <laughs> but I wouldn't be where I am today if it hadn't been for the hospitality, the wonderful culture on Guam and in Micronesia, and every one of you as friends from church and from other places, you have just contributed to my life, that where I, where I am, you have each are a part of me, and you've made me what I am today. And so I'm taking you home with me, in my heart, piece by piece, and uh, I love you all very much. And I've just been very thankful for the government of Guam and working for the Department of Education. It's been my privilege to do that. And uh, I've just enjoyed kindergarten because uh, not until they're in first grade do they start measuring. You know, so, uh, so I, I was always very good. <laughs> but I just enjoyed it so much. And with all the multiculturalism that, that's here, it has just expanded my whole world because I came from a little Dutch community and, uh, well, there were other people there, but uh, just to see all the multiculturalism and, and just, I've grown from that. And I just really, really appreciate your helping me through this and helping me just enjoy and just soak up your cultures. And, uh, and with the children too, I had, to, I had to learn quite a bit. You know, uh, you know they, would, they would talk and they would, uh, then, then with the eyes, I said, excuse me, I'm waiting for your answer. Well, I answered you. You know, they had, you know, raised their eyebrows. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> or another one was I, I would be talking and in our culture, you look at the person to whom you're talking, but here they look down. And I would say, excuse me, could you, could you look at me? You know, and I, that was a cultural thing that, that was not in their culture. And so I had to learn all these different things and it was just, it was wonderful. And so I'm hoping to bring many of my experiences back to the uh, state of Michigan and share with my great nieces and nephews and all of those around because it's who I am. You've made me who I am. And uh, I just appreciate it and thank you very, very much. Thank you. Biba Guam, Biba Miss Vanderwyde. <laughs> We're going to that will conclude our, our ceremony for today, but I'd like to invite all of you to join us up here for a photo if you can.